But if you've got one of these Apple Watches on and you have the cell phone function on, if it's on all the time and you're wearing it 24 hours a day, that's a high dose of radiation that you just do not need to expose yourself to. Now it has an RF transmitter built right into it, meaning you can use your Apple Watch as a phone, just like those old Dick Tracy movies. It's happening, it's real. So we went to the Apple Store to check it out. So this is the ambient energy at the Apple Store, which you would expect to be about this high because we are in the Apple Store yes. and everything is connected. But here's an Apple Watch. See, that's, that's, that's on your wrist. Six is the maximum level really this high. particular meter goes. Now, it really isn't as high as wireless technology can go. Right. Like your phone probably is gonna be higher than that six, but that's a lot of energy to have on your wrist. And a new study just came out today from the National Toxicology Program, and it concludes that there is a risk of cancer in rats, and that's how studies generally start with rats, to cancer. So cell phone radiation, RF or radio frequency radiation, has been shown to cause cancer in rats. So now here's your phone. It's connected to that watch, right? Can you turn your phone on by accessing that? No. Oh no, okay, you have to turn the phone on. But did you see that compared to your watch? So how does your watch and your phone talk to each other right now? Bluetooth and cellular. But I wanted to show you how it changes when you change the functionality. So if you disable your Wi-Fi and disable your Bluetooth, this should change. But see, it's gonna be hard to tell because we're already at ambient level. So you're on airplane now? You take your phone off of airplane. airplane. Yeah, then you'll see. You see that? It doubled. Yeah. yeah. So it's, if you're carrying around, probably better not have an airplane. But that watch, that concerns me. Yeah. Okay, ready? This is it, Rocket, the cell? The cell? That, so? that was just the, the spike of turning it off. Now this is without cell? Yeah. That's just Bluetooth? Can you turn off Bluetooth and leave cell on? Will it do anything? Will you still have functionality? Look at how much better it is with the Bluetooth off. This See that? Off. Yeah. And now is cell on? Okay, just cell on. We'll give it a chance to, yeah, to connect. Cell and Bluetooth are about the same. We'll take it off at night. I do. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's interesting, right? I mean, it's nothing that we didn't expect. It's alarming. It's like having the phone on your wrist. However, there's some things that you should know. First, you don't have to have your Apple Watch with an RF transmitter or cell phone functionality. You can get it with just a GPS and it's about $100 less. Now, the problem that some people are having with that study is that there was a high dose of radiation given to these rats over a two-year period. In fact, it was nine hours throughout the day every day for two years. But if you've got one of these Apple Watches on and you have the cell phone function on, that means you can turn it off, so do. But if it's on all the time and you're wearing it 24 hours a day, that's a high dose of radiation that you just do not need to expose yourself to. In fact, I wouldn't wear an Apple Watch at all. I just have to say that. Be well, I'm August Bryce.